Hello, everybody, and welcome today. I am here to introduce the new team, including Biz. So first of all, Biz, introduce yourself and what you do for the team. Hey, so uh, I'm Biss. I'm a rifler for the team. I've been playing with these guys for about four months or so now. Um, was part of the team last season as well. Um, I've been, <clears throat> I've taken up a few different roles over my time here, trying to sort of figure it out and like see if like we can make things work in like different systems. And I feel like now we've kind of reached a point where we have a good system, and I'm in the roles that I feel comfortable playing, and everything's kind of working. So, yeah, it's been good. What you're saying is that you can do it all, but you're sort of <laughs> one of the players that can do it all. But you can, you have one that like you're super, super good at. Not necessarily like a jack of all trades, but like you know. You, you yeah. Can. Well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I'm one of the more like experienced players on the team in terms of hours and stuff. Um. So it was more like I was just willing to like give up some of my roles and like move around a little bit to make other members of the team feel a bit more comfortable in their spots at first. Um. <clears throat> And that's the kind of definitely the kind of player that you want to be having on your team, obviously. And so, just going through the rest of the roster, it, can you run through who is going on this roster and who is like changed from the last season? Okay, so uh, continuing over from last season, we've got Tua and we got Holmesy, our uh, IGL and the Orpa. Um, <clears throat> both guys have been playing together for a while. They're both very good players. Um, and leaving, we had uh, Hashlamon and Jackson. Those guys both uh, wanted to leave to go pursue other projects. Um, so, uh, as a replacement, we found Toby, uh, who is German, and Alpaca, who is from Finland. So, <clears throat> we've made a switch from a full, like, UK roster into an international team, um, which hasn't actually presented any issues that I've noticed so far. Like, there's no communication problems or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, Toby and Alpaca, they're both very, like, <clears throat> capable players. I've seen them both doing a lot of stuff, but, um like has impressed me and i've been like okay yeah this like i can respect this guy as a player he clearly knows what he's doing um so yeah i've got a lot of confidence coming into this season well that's good to hear i remember like last last season you guys have made it like a really big deal about being a uk team you're you guys are always like oh we want to beat all the other uk teams and stuff like that but mm. i mean there is a lot of good that comes with being an international group has that changed your goals like obviously you probably still want to beat all the uk teams but like it has has mm. Your goals changed other than that? Um, well, I mean, yeah, like you say, we've still got the three core of UK. Um, so we still kind of consider ourselves mostly UK. So obviously the main rivalry would be other UK teams. Um, obviously, having international players makes uh, going to LAN a lot harder and it's a much less likely option. So that's not going to be on the cards probably anytime soon unless, you know, something crazy happens. Um, but I think in terms of ESEA and the leagues, our goals are still the same as they were last season. Like, as a safe goal, make playoffs. And realistically, we'd like to make intermediate, um, if not past there. Um, but yeah, I mean, right now we're really just focusing on, like, getting the good practice in, getting to be comfortable with each other. Because we've only had this roster for, like, a week or so. Um, so we're still quite new to playing with each other. So at the moment, we're kind of focusing on the short term and just trying to improve as we go. Right, and yeah, I remember the last season was slightly similar to that. You had a few games that were like a little bit difficult towards the beginning, but then you really got strong into your stride and you mm -hmm. ended up strong the regular season, but things just sort of fell off a little bit in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. I think that's a fair characterization, but yeah. yeah. So are there any like serious things that you're looking at from last season and saying, okay, here's something that we really want to be working on, like whether it be a map or like a strat on a map? Um. Well, the main thing for me, at least, is <clears throat> I felt like last season we maybe weren't applying our time as well as we could have um, during practice. Like we would often just get on. We'd say we practice for four hours. In that four hours, we would just play four scrims. We wouldn't do any sort of offline stuff, practicing executes or like, you know, going over our demos and stuff. Um, so that's something that has already changed and it's already been improved on. So we're like having a much more uh improvement focus on our practice rather than just playing and getting hours in which is what we had before so that's one big thing that i think has changed right, well that's that sounds pretty good <laughs> all right mm. so moving on to like we've, we've obviously gone over like some good and bad but i want to hear like a lot more of the good things that you remember from last season what are like some of your favorite memories of the team from last season <clears throat> um well there's one one game that comes to mind it was a vertigo game i can't actually remember if it was 
uh, ESCA or SCO. I think it was ESCA. But um, I remember, I can't remember the exact scoreline, but we were down by quite a lot. Like they, they were in a heavy lead um, and everyone's mood was kind of down and we, you know, it wasn't great. And then <clears throat> um, suddenly out of nowhere, we just kind of found something in us and like we just got really focused again. And um, I remember I was calling for like certain rotations and plays on CT side, um, kind of like micromanaging the the like yeah the rotations and positions over the map um <clears throat> and slowly we just started chaining these rounds back together and then suddenly we'd like built a load of momentum and coming back from this huge like deficit we managed to actually come back and win the game and that was during a time where we'd kind of been struggling quite a lot um like in practice in the matches we'd been playing so it was like overall team morale was quite low and i remember that game really kind of cemented for us like oh like if we really just put our heads down and focus, we actually can be a very good team here. We just have to like believe in ourselves and like um, just keep going and keep staying strong. So I think that was a big moment in the team that like, yeah, really boosted our morale and made us realize that we actually could do a lot. All right, everybody, you've heard it here first from Biz. We've got some great goals coming up for the season. We've got some awesome new players coming in here. Biz is going to be in one of his proper roles and we're international, but still going to be looking to beat all the UK teams. Anything you want to say in closing, Biz? Um, no, I mean, I feel like we covered <clears throat> quite a lot of the stuff. Like, um, yeah, I mean, thank you to Ra for continuing to support us. It's, you know, very helpful. And yeah, um, I hope everyone can enjoy watching us play this season. Absolutely. I know I'll be enjoying it. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we got for you today. And we'll see you when the season starts.